Welcome back to another unboxing. Today, we're gonna to be doing the unboxing of the Vent Pro Register Booster. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into with that. And let's get to the video. So I ordered this on Amazon, like most of my videos. Either I do Amazon or a auction site. So it came in a pretty normal thing here, box, and so it looks like this is going to be too small for the original register that I wanted to test, but I do have other HVAC registers that I want to test anyway, so we'll keep on going. So the so packaging looks pretty good here. The Vent Pro Register Booster Fan System. And I'm pretty excited about it because with anything, there is a, uh, the summer becomes a little bit on the crazy side. Um, and with the summer being the way it is in the Carolinas, it's almost to the point where you can't even keep up with anything. So we're gonna keep on trying. So like I said, we get the instruction manual here. We also have the booster itself. So we have some screws and the booster. Now, I've done a lot of research on these. The air tap system is supposedly the best one, but this is almost a one for one and it got pretty good reviews. It looks like the system itself is pretty encapsulated. It looks like the um, hardware itself is I mean, it's plastic, but it looks very well made. Um, the fan blades look like they are gonna last a little bit. Uh, most thing I was concerned with is airflow when the AC or the heat isn't on, would it actually blow through properly? And that's where I'm gonna kinda, you know, see that way if we have to keep this thing going on uh, all hours, or is there enough to push uh, through the unit and I'm thinking that it's pretty much, I'd say almost has complete capacity to go through everything and maybe would turn the fan blades anyway. So I guess if it blows down into this, it's gonna turn the fan blades even if it's not on, which would then uh, increase the air output from the, from the register or from the, uh, eight, the uh, AC unit itself without even having to have any power to it. Here is the, uh, here's the, uh, looks like an AV input. And then you kind of keep unboxing here. And it looks like we've got our power. So that's where we're gonna be. So I'm gonna show you the register we're about to do and we'll kind of see if we can get this thing going. So there's the register we're gonna be um, talking uh, through this entire install. Um, looks like I'm just gonna need a uh, flathead to get that off. Um, it's good, got pretty good flow. I've always thought it was um, pretty nice because this is really far away from the AC unit itself. So the fact that there's any airflow this far away from it is always good, so. But it's also right next to the stairs that lead downstairs. So you get a lot of you know, hot air that blows up, comes up through here, and then would go into the loft area. So that's, the, that's what we're gonna try to do. So first I'm gonna pretty much just take these off and then put the booster in there and screw it in there and have some power going down. And we'll see how it, how it works, how it sounds, and we'll let you guys see how it goes. Well, now you can see that I am trying to get that right side of the existing register off. And I'm really contemplating at this point how much I really want to do this because I don't know if I'm really going to be adding a tremendous amount of flow even with the booster because even though the AC unit is pretty far away from this side, 
it is, or the side of the house, it, it looks like it's going to be quite cumbersome for the AV port to be hanging down. And it looks like it's going to not be very aesthetically pleasing. I move on to the other side and this one seems to be a little bit more friendly to me. I also find out after I take these screws off that inside the register or the vent, there's drywall, there's caulking, there's a lot of stuff in there. So it was nice to get this off, but it was also kind of a pain in the neck and there we go. Now we have a, an open area. And what I then believe is I get the new register or the register booster up into the system. It was very, very tight. And honestly, you start to see some piece of the, the unit itself when the power goes on and once that powers on you then see a numerous um, offering of options the first thing it says is the temperature in the room so there was at 73 and then you can cycle through if you have a cooler home you can set the heat if you have a hotter home like i do you obviously can set the AC portion of it. That was quite easy. Um, at this point, the register booster is on, but I'm not feeling a tremendous amount of difference between the register booster and the venting itself. So I'm looking at the, the options here and I'm really not thinking that there is much of a airflow that is allowing from the HVAC itself to come through the register booster. It seems that the mechanics and the fan is blocking some of the AC itself. And then the fan motors, which are pretty quiet, are not really doing a large amount. So I am trying to get a, I guess, a physical read with my hands to kind of see, all right, now what? Is this going to be something that I want to keep? Is this something that I want to have hanging off my wall? What do I really want here? So the other thing that is, I think, not the best is that it blows straight down. Well, since it was actually blowing straight down and not at an angle like the original register would blow into the room, kind of got to this place where now the cord, what am I going to do with the cord? The air's not that much. It's not boosting. I'm going to have a cord hanging out of the ceiling. And then later we'll figure out that this uh, register booster is not designed to go into the ceiling but I saw so many videos about this being below, so I wanted to make sure that somebody had tried to do this. I don't really feel that much of a difference. No, you don't feel much of a difference, my friend. And unfortunately, this is where I start to realize that I don't know if this is going to be exactly what I needed. So I'm glad that I did this. But ultimately, I just didn't know if this was going to be the fix or even a part of it. Because I've done so much to the loft and it's really staying very cool. So, or cooler. It was 96 degrees outside that day or this day. And honestly, it really stayed very cool. So I'm very impressed. Well, unfortunately, this is going to be a reboxing as well as an unboxing. The Vent Pro Register Booster Fan System um, 
I guess it is through the air tap crew. So even that is, um, some of you might be saying, hey, I'm not gonna get a knockoff brand, but evidently I didn't get a knockoff brand. So um, it does say, for safety reasons, we do not recommend mounting the air tap on your ceiling. So I thought that that was not going to be a problem, but it is, it is a problem. It doesn't really boost anything, if I'm being honest. And the cord itself that attaches to it is quite obtrusive and not uh, a, an ideal look for anyone's, even in a, in a loft or a playroom slash man cave, you don't want some cord hanging out of the ceiling. So this unfortunately is a um, rebox and send back. It's possible I could do it in a bathroom with a smaller um, HVAC piping. So therefore maybe the booster would work. But if you're utilizing this for a larger register in the ceiling, I don't recommend this product at all. And therefore, I think we are giving this a thumbs down. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day, week, or month. If you want to keep seeing stuff like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, and we will keep making content. Anyway, have a good day.